Rumour, as I understand it, is to have Mike Ashley, Ed Sheeran, and Harry Redknapp all involved as, as kind of shareholders within Ipswich Town. Get him, get him subscribed, get him over that 10k mark, and he'll be uh, skydiving. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Now today, we're back in my bedroom. I'm, I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating. And obviously you can see in the background, we've got Harry Redknapp on the TV. Now I'm not on my own today. I am joined by, you know the score. 4-1 boys. <laughs> Come on. 4-1 man. All right. Before we get into this video, I just want to quickly shout out my friend, Newman. He's an upcoming Twitch streamer. So go and follow his Twitch account. I'm going to leave the link in the description, but please do me a favor. Go and follow him on Twitch. He's the next thing. And while you're at it, subscribe to Alex Griffin. He's well on his way to 10K. Just get it done. Get him, get him subscribed, get him over that 10K mark, and he'll be uh, skydiving. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it, but we do it. And make sure you do leave this video a like. Tom, I'm going to leave his Instagram in the description. He's on the road to not 10K, 10 followers. <laughs> <laughs> you could be number 10. I'll do a skydive at 10 followers on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get into the video. Well, well, well. I have made a video on Mike Ashley taking over at Switch. I have made a video on Ed Sheeran taking over at Switch Town. All rumoured videos, and today we're back with a video with the last man, Harry Redknapp, who is potentially... I'm not sure if he's taking over or whether he's taking a, a share in the club, but there's rumours about Harry Redknapp um, getting involved with Ipswich Town. Now, Tom, I'm going to let you go into it a little bit and delve into the topic first, because I feel like you know more about Harry Redknapp than I do. So take it away, tell us a bit like what you think of him and... Do you think he'd suit the club? Oh, I think he'd suit any club, to be honest with you. I mean, the, the rumour, as I understand it, is to have Mike Ashley, Ed Sheeran and Harry Redknapp all involved as, as kind of shareholders within Ipswich Town. Uh, you'd have the business sense of Mike Ashley, the star power of Ed Sheeran and the football brain of Harry Redknapp all involved. And that just sounds like a, a dream combination there you go. to me. So Harry Redknapp. He, he, he went in I'm a Celebrity, didn't he? He did, yeah. How, how did he do? Can you remember? He, he won. won it. He won it. He won it. There you go. The just, king of the jungle. Just after he ran over his wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Now, I don't know whether it's true or not. It might just be one big rumour, okay? But you know what you know what I'm like. If there's a rumour about Ipswich, I like jumping on the bandwagon about it and creating a video. Now, Harry Redknapp, I think, you know, it'd be, it'd be quality at Ipswich. I think if we had Ed Sheeran and Mike Ashley as well... I think, yeah, we'd, we'd, like you said, Tom, I think we'd have some... Oh, how do you word it? How do you word it? <laughs> I think they're all good at something different, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they've all got different aspects of what they're good at, so personally, I'd be very happy with it. Um, but there are a lot of people that say Mike Ashley isn't the right person. He's not a very kind man. What are your thoughts on Mike Ashley? Well, I don't really know, to be honest. I know Newcastle fans don't like him very much. Um, yeah. You know, they, but they've been up and down, haven't they, from the Premier League to the Championship. Uh, I think Newcastle, I mean, they've got one of the biggest stadiums in the country. Uh, they've got one of the biggest supporter bases in the country. And I think Newcastle's fans really want to see an owner who can just take them to that next level, push on, maybe kick on for Champions League football and things. And he's just not investing enough. But I think for a club the size of Ipswich Town, he could be ideal. It could be more suited to him. More suited to him, absolutely. Yeah. So I have actually read the article. I'm going to put it on the screen now, so you can see the article that I have read. So you know, I'm not making this up. Mate, it's hot in here. And with your new uh, with your new camera equipment, they'll be able to see every bead of sweat in glorious 4K. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on then. So Harry Redknapp, the man we're talking about in this video today, um, you know, he, ha he actually knows Marcus Evans. They're good pals, aren't they, mate? Just like me and you, Tom. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe even closer. Obviously, Harry Redknapp knows Marcus Evans, which also suggests there are links there between him and Ipswich Town. Anyway, moving on. We're going to go on to some good and bad points about Harry Redknapp to conclude this video. It's a nice and short video, but we're going to start off with the good points about Harry Redknapp. So... 
Tom, go on, take it away. Right. So he's uh, he's very well known in the football industry, of course. Uh, he's had links to lots and lots of clubs in uh, in English football. He should have been England manager, I remember. Uh, he was the bookies' favourite when Roy Hodgson became England manager, and he should have been. He helped to make Gareth Bale at Tottenham, for example. So uh, yeah, we're talking top top quality. And uh, yeah, it's always good to have a football man on the board, of course. He could help to attract new players. He could help to impose a, a vision on the club and a yeah. style of play and, and really could help to take us forward. There you go, you just covered it all, mate. You smashed it out of the park. You smashed it out, mate. <laughs> smashed it out of the park. Anyway, what else can we actually say about Harry Redknapp? Do you think it will happen, Tom? I don't know. I'd love for it to happen. Like, I really, I really like the idea. Marcus, uh, sorry, not Marcus Evans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sh 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 shambles. Uh, yeah, uh, so, oh, what's his name? Mike Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the business mind of Mike Ashley, the star power of Ed Sheeran, the football brain of Harry Redknapp. That just sounds like a dream combination to me. I couldn't ask there you for any Promotion. If that happens, promotion. Mate. Promotion. Premier League, Champions Pre League. Champions League. 4-1. Uh, Club World Cup. <laughs> 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 So, I think that's it. I think we've covered everything in this video. I think um, so. I want you to all comment down below now. Would you be happy with Harry Redknapp, Ed Sheeran and Mike Ashley all having a share in the club? Or, which one would you pick to take over the club? Would you rather have Harry Redknapp, Ed Sheeran or Mike Ashley? Comment down below. We're going to have a little vote. I do read through all the comments, so please comment down below. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure you follow Tom on Instagram. That's it. 10k, 10. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the road. We're on the road, baby. Thank you for all watching this video. I appreciate you coming along, Tom. Oh, we'll, no we'll problem. Go, we'll, go we'll go elbows. elbows. There we go. And we will. I oh, will see you in the next video. Please, please, please um, stay tuned for all the live streams because I've got plenty of live streams coming out on the channel. And by the time I've actually uploaded this video, we might be on 10k, mate. So, you know. Oh, fingers crossed. Nice. Right. See you all later. Thanks for watching and stay safe. Like this video and subscribe right now to Alex Griffin. No!